Definitely, yes. I mean, the the biggest one has been, I'd say, John 6 in my view of the Eucharist, yeah. my view of the sacraments. Um, I, I'd say that's kind of probably one of the biggest like 180 type, type turns that I've made. And, you know, I look back and cringe on a video that I made um, right <laughs> when my channel was starting to, to take off in terms of the ecumenical space. I had been just doing these Bible study videos and I was going through the book of John at the time. And I had like two videos that just like, grew astronomically and my channel is kind of blowing up you know relatively speaking of course right like these aren't mr beast numbers or something but like it was big for me and uh that week i was slated for john six and i was like you've got to be kidding me like all these catholics are watching my videos now and i've got to make a video on john six but i took it really seriously and I, and I really dove into it and studied a lot of the history and um and, and that was something that that I changed my view on that, that Christ is, is really talking about being present in the Eucharist. And it would take time to develop kind of how I think about that um, and, you know, in, in what way or um, in what circumstances, you know, like on, on which altars, if you will, is, is Christ present. Um, but, but that was a, a big 180. I would say, I, you know, I don't know that I would have directly applied uh, kind of the, the prohibition against images in, in the Old Testament to icons. I don't know that it was really on my radar because I wasn't exposed to it, um, but I would say I I probably would have been hesitant at least about it, and so my, my view on, on those verses has probably changed. Um, but I, I think probably the, the bigger shift, um, maybe not bigger than the, the Eucharist, um, was kind of changing how I approach soteriology or the, the study of salvation. Um, and the that was actually from a Protestant, a high church Anglican, who was a professor of mine. The, uh, but he wrote a brilliant book on union with Christ and really encouraged me to think about salvation, not so much as a just simply extrinsic uh, transactional type thing where yeah. Christ gives us salvation apart from himself as type of as part of this kind of like legal transaction, but that salvation is actually being united to Christ and, and that mm -hmm. salvation is Christ in that way. And that all of the Christian life uh, is about being, being brought in, into union with Christ. And then um, furthermore, kind of seeing theology less from uh, that sense of, yeah, Christ kind of like us Christ and the, the gift Christ gives to us kind of apart from himself, uh, but seeing all of Christ's life as a, a a healing of humanity from the inside by taking on human flesh. So kind of centering theology more on the incarnation. So that's maybe more of like an approach to theology that changed.